Welcome to Gene and Mike do the New York Times crossword. Hi, I'm Gene. And I'm Mike. And today we are doing the crossword for Wednesday, September 18th, 2024. So, did you do the crossword? I did do the crossword. And did it live up to your exacting uh, standards? I I think it did. Okay, good. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but was, you apparently did, so we're in good shape. It was a crossword. Yes, it yes. It was a Wednesday crossword, mm -hmm. so not too hard, not too easy. Right. Right in the middle there. Mm -hmm. And um, it was an enjoyable solve. So, yeah, I would say it met my standards. Well, good, good. <laughs> your exacting standards. Uh -huh. um, and it had a theme. It did have a theme. Which was hard to miss. Uh, it was hard to miss, but um, a little um, a little challenging mm -hmm. to pronounce, at least. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but well, let uh, us proceed to mispronounce it, and then we'll apologize and figure it out okay. the, the right pronunciation. Well, it all revolved around this magnificent um, tourist spot in Rome, and the first clue that related to the theme was seventeen across. House of Worship at the top of 67 across, which we'll get to. Uh, but the answer to that is in Italian, which I do not speak, but it is uh, Trinita dei Monti, or Monti, which is a church. Right. It, it's a church. Roman Catholic. At the top of 67 across, which is the other themed clue. Architectural attraction in Rome depicted by this puzzle's grid, and that is the infamous Spanish Steps. Mm -hmm. The Spanish Steps. Yes. Uh, so two two themed clues there that ran the whole length of the puzzle. Right. And their uh, juxtaposition uh, was not um, was not just something random. The church was at the top of the puzzle. The Spanish steps were at the bottom of the puzzle, and between the two of them, there were a number of circled squares in um, that that were uh, configured in such a way. Two circled squares uh, on each line, and configured in a way that made them look like steps. Mm -hmm. So as you went down the puzzle, the two circled squares moved over a square, and then another square, and another square. So they looked like steps. Like and Spanish you, steps, I The guess. Spanish steps, and they were definitely Spanish steps, because in those circled squares, if you filled out the puzzle correctly, you had the words uno, dos, tres, and cuatro. And that is a language I do recognize. That is Spanish, and I am pretty sure I pronounced those correctly. Right. But that is one, two, three, and four in Spanish. Now, I'm going to assume they actually have more than four Spanish steps. They have 135. Yep, definitely more than four. Yes, 135, which at one time we did climb. Really? Uh, yes, we did. Did we did we count them as we went? No. Okay. We, we had three children with us. I would imagine at least one of them counted. Them, well, but... each one of them could have counted one third of the stairs. <laughs> That's as, true. And we could have That's just true. added up. Mm -hmm. But uh, but yes, we have actually been to the Spanish Steps and the church at the top, um, which will remain unnamed <laughs> because I don't want to embarrass myself. No, you 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 did fine. It was the Trinidad de Monte. Day, I think. Monta. Day would be would be God, right? Trinidad would be, th or Trinidad would be three. Trin Day would be God, I presume, mm -hmm. and Monte Mountain. I, that's what I think, or, or something like that. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. okay, yeah. So anyway, yeah, it was a cute, clever theme. Yes, and um, well done. We had a little bit of French with one across when Les Jeux Olympiques de Paris took place, and that was été for for spring. That's right. That's right. That's what made me think it was a French puzzle. Ah, I see. Okay, mm -hmm. well, that certainly makes sense. Mm -hmm. But now that I think about it, it was really more Italian and Spanish. Right. And we did have nine down. Its capital is Venetian, and it's Laos. So maybe it's a Laotian <laughs> crossword. I, it's an international puzzle. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. It was a good puzzle. I enjoyed it. Good. Mm -hmm. What about you? Did you? I found it pretty uh, pretty enjoyable. Um, didn't have too much trouble with it. Didn't really know the theme. I just sort of 
used all of the crosses to get yeah. to where I needed to be. I liked 43 across. That's, I'd never seen this word before. Cutesy term for a swap. Tradesies. Yes. I've never heard that. Yeah, they need, they need to stop words like that in the bud. <laughs> I mean, really... Tradesies. You know, I'm st- I'm still trying to come to grips with adorbs, uh-huh. <laughs> and I think tradesies is definitely one one step too far. Mm, yeah. But no one asks me when the language evolves; it just sort of <laughs> evolves on its own without consulting anyone. So uh, that's true. And it certainly doesn't consult forty four down well read sorts scholars. That's I'm right. sure all the scholars would sneer at <laughs> tradesies and adorbs. Mm-hmm. Another one uh, that was. I, I think I've seen this word before, but I didn't really know what it meant. 22 across, unfilled space. Lacuna. L- lacuna. Lacuna matat. No, I'm sorry. That's wrong. <laughs> lacuna. Lacuna or lacunae. Uh-huh. Um, I use that. I actually know that word, and it's it's part of sort of my, na- my ordinary conversation. You know, because I have a phrase, there's a, like a lacuna in your in your knowledge or something. You, there's something, there's a hole where there's something you don't know. And you say that to people? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, I know. No one knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> I do now. Okay, there we go. Good. We had uh, 18 down, dishonorable was ignoble. Yes, that's a great word. Mm-hmm. I haven't I haven't seen that word lately, but I do know that word. I saw something very similar to it lately. They announced the Ig Nobles, you know, the sort of the the takeoffs on the Nobel prizes yes. uh-huh. for for like the I guess what they consider the most ridiculous science research. Yes, and so um, that was certainly in the news. I'm sure it's just a coincidence that it's showing up now, but mm-hmm. here in here in the crossword, <laughs> right. 29 down, I don't think I really uh, grasped that. 29 down was bright spots, question mark, atria. Yes. Does that just mean because it's an open place that it's Where bright? Where the sun can come in, yes. Oh, okay. It's usually sunny. I guess I'm thinking of agora, um, so, sort of like a gathering place in a city, right? An agora? Oh, Yes. But that's different from an so an atria is like what? It's like a marketplace, right? Right. Open market. Yeah, and that's what I was thinking. But an atria is really just what part of a house? It's or, like uh, it's like yeah, when you know a building has has four sides all around an open okay. area in the middle, and that's the atria. Because mm-hmm. atrium is the singular, atria mm-hmm. is the plural. I guess I don't go to too many places that have atria. Well. I mean, we used to live in a town of 13,000. There weren't a whole lot of atrias there. Well, <laughs> even now in the in the heart of the hustling, bustling northeast Wisconsin. I'm trying to think. I mean, um, where I am employed, we have a... A, a courtyard. Oh. It's like a courtyard with a with a roof on it. That's, a, oh. that's an atrium. But um, So wait, an atrium has a roof? Yes. Oh, yes, okay. Yes, it's enclosed. I see. Mm-hmm. So... But uh, I, I can't think of any How does the buildings sun get... around here that have an atria uh, or have an atrium. 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 How, how does the sun? How does the sun get in if, and make it bright if there's a roof on top? Well, it's made of glass. Oh, it's totally you, made of glass. You left out that key. Oh, that sorry. key fact. That's all right. No, there's some hotels that have an atrium. Atrium. Right. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any in this community. <laughs> it seems to me I've been like in Marriott's that are these, you know, gigantic open spaces. Right. Mm-hmm. They're, they're, they're trying to be like York Minster without the religious aspect. <laughs> And and so they they're you know always bright and there's there's mm-hmm. lots of lots of activity yeah. happening there. Embassy suites are kind of they often have an atrium. Hmm. So we've stayed in a few eight embassy suites that have had atrium. I will take your word for it. Mm-hmm. I like nine across. Nine across was like the watches in Dolly's the persistence of memory, and I thought. It was going to be melty. That's what I was thinking, but that didn't fit. Right. Uh-huh. And and I don't. I'm not sure that melty is a word. <laughs> On the other hand, I'm saying this about a crossword that has tradesies in the grid, uh-huh. so I'm allowed to go with melty. But well, the, I I wanted it to be melting because that's what they look like they're doing. Right. But Casey Calla- Callahan and Will Nettiger wanted us to write limp. Limp. 
yes. Because they are sort of limp, I guess. They are. I, I thought that was a nice... I don't know. I, whenever I've seen that painting, I always think they're melting. Yes. But but they're limp. Mm-hmm. They're just limp. <laughs> they, I, I presume they know. I, and this has, of course, all been... Um, fact checked and edited by Joe Fagliano, so That's we know right. it must it must be true. That's right. Mm-hmm. Um, Forty two down. I should have gotten this. I think faster. Linux software packages informally. I went for Debian's because it was starting with a D and it was ending with an S, and there is a type of Linux called Debian. Now this is like an operating system, like Windows or Mac, and but it turned out to be distros. I had no idea what that was. Yeah, they talk about how they distribute the distro is short for distribution. Oh. So they have different distributions of essentially the same software. Now I'm going to get a whole bunch of Linux nerds. They're going to be sending us letters. If you'd like to send us those letters of complaint, <laughs> uh, that would be at crossword podcast at <laughs> iCloud.com. Mm-hmm. 69 across was. Moneymaker, and that was Mint. Yes. I thought that was sort of cute. That was, yes. I got that, though, right away. Mm. I, I still liked it, though. I thought it was mm-hmm. sort of a nice, fun little clue there. Yep. So, all right. Well, I think that's probably it for today. I think we've covered most of the um, salient clues here. Yeah. Again, this was by Casey Callahan and Will Nettiger. Casey, it was a debut for, for them. Uh, Will Nettiger, this is his 51st. I was going to say, we've seen that name many times. Especially on Sunday. He's mm. definitely a Sunday fan. Uh-huh. So, yeah. bravo to both. Well done. Very good. And that is it for today. We'll be back again with our cutting-edge analysis of tomorrow's crossword tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>